In the larger sense, Gedua is a symbol to the Cherokee people of the place where we come from. Uh, some oral histories uh, recount that this is the birthplace of the Cherokee people, that the first Cherokee came out of the top of the mound. For years, you know, we would drive by the place and our parents would say, see the mound? There's the mound over there and it was huge. Now, I don't know if it was so much bigger or it was that we were small. This was the heart of Cherokee country. And uh, this is where a lot of our old laws originated in the ways that we lived as a people. Uh, this is where those laws were set down and, and became part of our culture. And there's prophecy associated with this place. Uh, it was said by the prophets that we would lose Gadua and then regain Gadua. So we've come full circle. Prior to contact with Europeans, Cherokees had villages that were organized as kind of political states. What Gadua was considered as a peace town or a mother town, it was considered the first town, but it was also considered a religious center. I was very thrilled that Chief Joyce Duden was able to uh, realize the value of the site and because again of our revenues that we have uh, now from gaming, we were able to um, purchase that site. There was a lot of controversy about the purchase of Gadua because of the lack of development potential and economic development for the tribe. So we had a, we had a pretty good battle about it. I don't know what changed minds, but eventually um, tribal council voted to purchase it. Um, knowing that it was full of archaeological um, artifacts and that we might not ever be able to use it for anything, that we may not be able to build on it because of that. We performed an archaeological survey in 1996. I was the only tribal member in the crew. We recovered an unbroken archaeological record that spans 10,000 years. And it contradicts what uh, many American archaeologists uh, conclude, uh, draw conclusions regarding the ancientness of the Cherokee's presence in the area. You, you just go there and imagine what it was like uh, with the um, people occupying that area and then just think about it throughout history. Uh, the, the number of people there, including my own uh, family, uh, live there on that site. So it has a lot of special meanings for me. There's a ceremony where People will come and bring dirt, sometimes from their own yard or, or their own community, and put this dirt on the mound. And this is a symbol of connecting themselves with this mound and with this site. That's part of them that they're bringing. And, and it's a, a great way for everyone, children and adults both, to, to be involved and, and to know that they've had a hand in, in the preservation and continuation of a site like this. Ready? Ready? You gotta do. 